One of the best accessories you could possibly get for any iPad is the stylus. And Apple primarily focuses on trying to sell us the Apple Pencil. But what if I tell you if there's a better stylus out there that'll give you all the essential Apple Pencil features at a hefty $100 discount? That is where this third-party stylus comes into play. This is by Pinovo, and this is their A4 Pro. It comes available in both black and white and sells for about $36. You can find it on Amazon. And this pointy end right here is actually removable, but not only that, they actually provide two additional tips. So a common issue I faced with my previous Apple Pencil is over time, this part seems to fail and doesn't really handle wear and tear very well. And to add salt to injury, Apple doesn't provide additional ones out of the box when you buy your Apple Pencil, second generation. You have to buy this separately. These guys, they throw in two, included in the package, and you can buy more on their store that you could easily find on Amazon. Now, before we begin talking more about this stylus, quick disclosure, Panovo did reach out and provided us their stylus for us to check out. And they also went ahead and proudly sponsored today's video. And I gotta admit, after using the stylus for a couple of hours now, I'm actually genuinely very impressed because the build quality is actually a lot better and solid and feels a lot better to hold in the hand compared to the Apple Pencil because this is actually made of aluminum. And in addition to that, it does also share the second generation Apple Pencil features like the magnetic attachment capability that you can just simply attach on your iPad and in addition to that, it doesn't end there. The magnets are much stronger from what I've noticed compare the Apple Pencil because I can actually shake this and it doesn't fall off. The Apple Pencil, if I were to do this, it would have easily just came off like you see here. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. Then I do have accessories, cases and stuff like that on my iPad. This is an iPad Pro with the M1. And to my surprise, it actually fits in those little compartments that these third-party cases typically have for the Apple Pencil. Now, I'm no stranger when it comes to using third-party stylus, especially for on the iPad. And a common thing that third-party stylus typically had, especially when they had like Bluetooth capabilities, is that you have to manually go into your iPad setting and pair them directly to the iPad. Where with the Apple Pencil, you simply just dock it and it will automatically connect to the iPad. This actually shares a very similar feature because the pairing procedure is extremely friendly and only takes a matter of seconds. Instead of having to go into the iPad settings, all you have to do is just wake up the stylus by tapping the top part right here twice, and it'll automatically connect to the nearby iPad. And then it also has this lovely LED indicator on the side, which will basically show you the battery life percentage. A white LED color will basically indicate that it's 100% charged, a blue light will basically just mean it's around 60%. Red would just tell you that it's 20% below. And of course, no LED light means it's dead. Now it does charge with a USB-C cable. On their website, it says that a hour and a half charge will allow this stylus to last up to six hours and also has a standby rating that can last 365 days. So one year of standby. But what I'm gonna go ahead and show you next is the iPad OS capability because this thing does actually support the majority of the important iPad features. Let's go ahead and go behind the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what I mean. So on the lock page, as soon as you wake up the screen, it has the capability to automatically launch notes anywhere you tap with the stylus. So this will quickly just launch the note app and you can quickly have access to all your tools down here and it will save all these notes you make on the go. In addition to that, if you go into the settings on your main device and go into Apple Pencil section, you have the ability to adjust some of these settings and you could try some of these scribble shortcuts. When you hit this little section, it'll walk you through many different things you could do with a stylus. So obviously we can write whatever we want to write, but some of the unique ones is the ability to delete some of these written text or text text by simply scribbling over the line and it just goes away like so. And then you could select text by simply drawing an outline circle over it. Insert will show you how to insert text, just press and hold anywhere you want, and then just write down whatever text you want to put in the middle between those two. And then over here, you can actually combine words by simply just drawing a line straight down through the middle. So yeah, as you see here, it's fully compatible. In terms of compatibility, basically the majority of iPads support this. This is the entire list right here, so feel free to pause the section of the screen if you want to see if your model supports it. And there's even a lot of software support too from third-party apps. Good Notes is one of the notes I personally use the most, one of the apps I use the most when it comes to note-taking. And it's a part of the list and many others too. 
And here we are using the good nail tap. If you actually make a line and you press and hold, it will actually straighten the line so you can make shapes like this, including stars. And then once you're done using it, you can either turn it off manually by double tapping the top part like so, or if you accidentally forget, it does have a five minute unactive timer. So if the pen's not in motion or anything like that being used at all, it will automatically turn off within five minutes to preserve as much battery as possible. Now to have some fun, I know my penmanship isn't the best, I know it sucks, but can you identify which one was written with the official Apple Pencil? Ready? If you guessed the bottom one, uh, you're right. <laughs> uh, that one was the bottom Apple Pencil, but if you look at it from like a distance from afar, it's really hard to even tell the two apart. So yeah, for just writing use, for the quick take, for note taking and stuff like that, this is actually a really good stylus. This is why I mean I'm actually wowed. And when just genuinely using it, there's not that much resistance on the display. Of course, this may vary depending on the screen protector you're using. And yeah, after using the stylus for a couple of days now, I'm genuinely impressed. Again, I did mention and disclose that this is a sponsored video, but this is a product that I personally can recommend, especially if all you really care for is just typical note taking. This is an amazing stylus, especially with that pointy end at the very tip. Makes handwriting, cursive, look extremely natural as, as if I'm using a genuine ballpen pen to write my notes. But it does lack the pressure points. So if you're a graphic designer or something like that, yes, you can use this to draw sketches and stuff like that. You can actually move the pen at like a 90 degree angle to get a darker line, but the app, but you have to keep in mind, the Apple Pencil, second generation Apple Pencil actually does, does have a nice pressure point where you can actually apply pressure to get those darker lines instead of having to pivot the pen, pencil at a different degree angle. So that's just something you should definitely keep in mind. But for general note taking class, and such this is an amazing stylus especially when you take in consideration it's literally a hundred dollars less and has all the important apple pencil features aside from that pressure point i highly recommend this if all you'll be primarily using it, this stylus for is taking good quality notes although there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed thank you penovo for sponsoring today's video if you're interested where you can find this product, find out more information about the A4 Pro, I'll be sure to include the link in the description down below. So it's literally a click away. And if you got some good useful information out of this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like as those help me out a lot and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech focused videos just like this. If you'd like to see what other accessories I have on my iPad Pro, I recently covered all that in this video over there. And then the video next to that one, that is just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch y'all in the next one.